In a tragic incident that unfolded at a water park, located just outside Taiwan's capital, Taipei, over 500 individuals found themselves injured in the aftermath of a catastrophic explosion. The calamity ensued when colored powder, intended for a festive celebration, was sprayed onto a gathered crowd, only to unexpectedly ignite and spark a chain reaction of chaos. Government authorities have reported a staggering toll, revealing that a total of 516 people were injured in the incident. Among them, 194 individuals are grappling with severe injuries, underscoring the magnitude of the disaster. The injured have been swiftly transported to hospitals, with more than 400 individuals still undergoing medical treatment as the extent of their injuries is assessed and addressed. The explosion has sent shockwaves through the community, prompting an urgent response from emergency services and healthcare providers. As families anxiously await news of their loved ones, the medical facilities in the region are working tirelessly to provide necessary care and support to those affected. The incident has also raised questions about safety measures at public events and gatherings, prompting a thorough investigation into the circumstances surrounding the ignition of the colored powder. In a harrowing turn of events, an explosion and subsequent fire erupted at the Formosa Fun Coast Water Park just outside Taiwan's capital, Taipei, casting a pall of tragedy over what was supposed to be a joyous gathering. The calamity unfolded during a vibrant color party, a festival of dance and music where attendees are sprayed with clouds of colored powder. The incident left more than 500 people injured, with a spokesman for the new Taipei City Fire Department suggesting that the explosion might have been triggered by the powder spray, potentially exacerbated by the heat generated by the stage lights. The gravity of the situation intensified as authorities tracked down additional victims, who had either sought medical attention on their own, or were transported to hospitals by fellow attendees. Among the injured, 194 individuals are grappling with serious injuries, shedding light on the scale of the disaster that unfolded at the water park. Health authorities have disclosed that among the victims, four are from the Chinese mainland, while two others are foreigners. This international dimension to the incident adds a layer of complexity to the response efforts, as officials navigate not only the immediate medical needs of the victims, but also address cross-border considerations in the aftermath of the tragedy. The explosion occurred amidst the lively atmosphere of the Formosa Fun Coast Water Park, where hundreds had gathered for the color party. The festival, known for its exuberant celebrations and vibrant displays, quickly turned into chaos and panic as the explosion sent shockwaves through the crowd. Eyewitnesses described a sudden and intense burst of flames, casting a surreal and horrifying scene over what should have been a moment of revelry. As emergency services rushed to the scene, the injured were swiftly transported to hospitals for medical attention. The sheer scale of the incident has compounded the response efforts, with over 400 individuals still under medical care, their conditions being monitored and treated by healthcare professionals. The gravity of the injuries, coupled with the international composition of the victims, has made this a challenging and complex emergency response. One male witness, recounting the harrowing experience to local news channel CTI, revealed that the fire seemed to originate on the left side of the stage. Initially, he, like many others, mistook it for part of the special effects of the lively party atmosphere that had gripped the park. However, the realization of the unfolding tragedy quickly dawned, triggering a panic as people started screaming and scrambling to escape the escalating danger. A male student, who sustained minor injuries in the calamity, described the scene as nothing short of hell. The aftermath was marked by an unsettling tableau of blood, with injured individuals seeking solace and relief in the water park's pools. The sheer intensity of the incident left many attendees in a state of shock, their attempts to find respite in the water overshadowed by the widespread injuries and trauma. The witness accounts underscore the sudden and surreal nature of the catastrophe, turning a festive celebration into a nightmarish ordeal. The festivity, intended to be a joyful gathering featuring dance, music, and vibrant displays of colored powder, morphed into a scene of horror and anguish. The stark contrast between the exuberance of the event and the sudden eruption of flames has left a lasting impact on those who witnessed the tragedy unfold. A male student, who suffered minor injuries in the chaos, shared the gruesome aftermath he encountered. There was blood everywhere, including in the pool where lots of the injured were soaking themselves for relief from the pain, he recounted to reporters. His girlfriend, visibly shaken by the experience, added a chilling detail, saying, 
I saw lots of people whose skin was gone. Such vivid and distressing descriptions emphasized the severity of the injuries sustained by the victims and the profound emotional toll on those who were present. Swift action has been taken by authorities. The fire, which ignited amid the color party, was promptly extinguished, preventing further escalation of the catastrophe. However, attention has now turned to the individuals responsible for the event. Event manager Lu Chun Chi and four other event workers have been detained by the police. According to New Taipei Police spokesman Yen Poren, they will be transferred to prosecutors for further investigation on charges of offenses against public safety and negligence of duties that resulted in severe injuries. The detention of the event manager and workers signals a critical phase in the investigation as authorities seek to unravel the circumstances leading to the tragedy. The aftermath of the tragic incident at the Formosa Fun Coast Water Park near Taipei has revealed the extent of the injuries sustained by the victims, with media reports indicating that some individuals suffered burns covering more than 40% of their bodies. The severity of the burns has posed a significant challenge for medical professionals, with a doctor treating 41 victims at a Taipei hospital, stating that 17 of them were seriously burned and all exhibited damage to their respiratory systems. The injuries, characterized by both external burns and internal damage to the respiratory organs, were attributed to the large amount of color powder inhaled during the chaos. The volatile combination of fire and airborne particles from the powder created a perilous situation, resulting in severe burns and respiratory distress for those caught in the incident. As a result, the severely wounded victims are now receiving intensive care across 37 different hospitals in Taipei. The critical condition of these individuals has prompted health officials to emphasize the significance of the next 24 hours in their treatment and recovery. The inhalation of color powder, in addition to the external burns, has necessitated specialized medical attention to address both aspects of the injuries. The challenges posed by the nature of the injuries underscore the gravity of the incident and the complex medical care required for the affected individuals. Access to the site for emergency services has been described as difficult, with ambulances facing obstacles in reaching the victims. Many had to be carried away on stretchers, highlighting the urgency and complexity of the rescue and medical response. The difficulties in reaching and treating the victims further underscore the chaotic and challenging circumstances surrounding the incident. Expressing deep remorse and concern, new Taipei Mayor Eric Chu announced the immediate shutdown of the water park and ordered a rigorous investigation into the incident. The decision to close the park is not only a response to the tragedy, but also a precautionary measure to ensure the public safety in the wake of this unforeseen disaster. The investigation is expected to delve into the circumstances, leading to the explosion and subsequent fire, with a focus on event planning, safety measures, and the use of colored powder during the festive gathering. Well, that's all for today's video. If you found this video informative, please consider liking and subscribing to our YouTube channel for more thought-provoking content. Don't forget to leave your comments and suggestions down below. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.